With Republicans in both the House and the Senate standing firm against the bipartisan border bill, today Senate Majority Leader Schumer, Chuck Schumer is going to force a vote on a stripped-down package, which will include aid to Ukraine and Israel, but not the border package. This month marks two years since Russia's invasion of Ukraine began, and as the New York Times reports, Ukrainians find themselves outmanned and outgunned. Border crews need to ration artillery shells because they are critically short of ammunition. And joining me now is Democratic Senator Jean Shaheen of New Hampshire, one of the key negotiators on that package. She's also a member of the Armed Services and Foreign Relations Committees. And I should have pointed out that there will be a test vote. He's going to put the whole thing up and uh, the procedural vote. And as I understand it, if that goes down, then he's going to take the Ukraine and the Israel money out and try to get that through. Um, is that your understanding of the latest from the Democratic leader? That is my understanding, and it has not just aid to Ukraine and Israel, but it also has funding for Taiwan and the Indo-Pacific. Mm -hmm. It has humanitarian aid that so many people around the world are so desperate for. So this is really important, including people in Gaza. So it's very important that we pass this, particularly for the brave Ukrainians who have just been so courageous in standing up to Vladimir Putin and who we know only have about 20 percent of the munitions and weapons they need right now as they respond to the Russian attack. So this could be a close vote, uh, despite, you know, what many people acknowledge is a compelling need for aid to Ukraine. There is some, some in the Republican side who don't want it. Now Bernie Sanders has just said that he is going to uh, vote no on the foreign aid package if it's uh, included assistance for Ukraine, Israel, and Taiwan. Um, so. Well, you know, this is the height of hypocrisy because last fall, when this um, security package was before us for the first time and Republicans voted it down, they voted it down because they said they needed that border security piece. So we spent four long months negotiating a very tough border security package. And now they're saying they can't support aid to Ukraine and Israel and the Indo-Pacific unless we take off those border security provisions because former President Donald Trump said he doesn't want to have anything passed that's going to help the border because he wants to use that as a campaign.